My parents made me feel like I could be anything in the world, so I wanted to either be an astronaut or Christy Brinkley. I was like, I just want to be Christy Brinkley when I grow up. But I always definitely want to be an astronaut too, and my parents used to wake me up whenever there were meteor showers. And we'd go out and sit on the driveway and we'd watch the meteors, and I always loved it so much. That sense of wonder, it's what drives me in my life. I have a kinetic furniture company called Rock Paper Robot. Kinetic furniture is any kind of decor that is moving. For instance, big mechanized chandeliers that expand and contract, shelves that move across the wall really slowly or start to tip over the course of time if you don't dust them or take something off of them. I am a roboticist by training, but I've always had a really hard time differentiating between being a designer or an engineer. All of the furniture work that I do has a basis in my robotics training. As an engineer, I know how to test if something will be structurally sound, what forces will be put on it, and how, th how will this react. So this is our uh, levitating float table. It's a system of wooden cubes with magnets embedded inside of them, held in tensile equilibrium by a whole network of stainless steel cables. It has a dynamic quality that really defines its whole character. One of our goals is to really keep people awake and aware and awed about things around them. We're hoping that they think that there's something more to see here, and that is really the same kind of thought you could have about everything. Something that I love to do is gluing tiny little beads to skulls in very ornate patterns. I work on small skulls, beavers or mink or like smaller a ferret, but I would really love to do a, a you know a huge cow or a bull. Oh, would I love to do a bull and really bead the hell out of a bull's skull. <laughs> I give a lot of the skulls away to friends as gifts. The thing actually that I really love doing the most is making art for people. I like to create things that make everyone feel like, wow, what is that? I should probably make up something that can give everybody that feeling. Is there a connection between doing work on the skulls and your day job? I wouldn't even call it a connection, it's just the same, but in a different context. I like creating objects that are just kind of a little bit strange and are beautiful and really do inspire a visceral feeling about an object. I'm just like totally immersed in wonder. <laughs>